Okay, we should be live. Get the captions working. Cool. So, welcome folks to the Outer Worlds. Um, as I mentioned in a tweet I posted earlier on today, I am actually changing up where and how I stream. Um, so, this I'm going to start off, I'm not going to be restreaming to four platforms anymore. Um, the amount of work involved that goes into behind the scenes to that and trying to do everything when I've got a full-time job is just too much. So unfortunately I'm not able to keep that up at least for now. Uh, in the future we can revisit that. But right now um, that won't be happening. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to stream the Outer Worlds on Mixer. And I'm going to continue to stream Elite Dangerous, Elder Scrolls Online and Borderlands 3 on Twitch. So those streams will all be happening, but they will be on a single platform each time. That could be changed up a bit in the future and the schedule will probably change as well. Today, rather than doing, say, 2 tail 5 Borderlands 3 on all platforms, I'm doing one tail 3-ish, Outer Worlds on Mixer, then short break about 3.15, start up Borderlands 3 on Twitch, run through to about maybe half five, close to six. So that's what's happening. There are changes afoot and we'll have to see where that takes us. Um, I'm just going to test that works fine. Cool. <coughs> that was visible. Okay, so... Outer Worlds, new sci-fi RPG from Obsidian, got lots of good reviews, lots of hype. Um, honestly, I have been watching some streams, but I don't know all that much about it. So, uh, let's get into it. So, we should want a new game. So, I think... Sorry, I'm just making sure that I can see in case we start having any stream problems. Um, recommended for your first playthrough. Okay, normally it is. Conversation subtitles, yes. Dark subtitles, we'll have those on. Cinematic subtitles. Ooh. Oh, we'll have those on as well. I have captions on the stream for a reason. Um, so we will have all of the subtitles on. Right. Alcyon. Why stay earthbound when prosperity... Oh. Why oh. stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you there in the go. stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Okay. <laughs> so they left the ship out there. Thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Huh. Indeed. Not sure I agree with that.
Okay. Modify your attributes to choose what you like to specialize in. Beware, the low average attributes come with a penalty. So. Ooh, they must have been feeding you Spacer's choice rations. Mm hmm. Excellent cellular integrity, not likely to liquefy. <laughs> Okay. Um. So I could. I mean, this is my first playthrough, so I honestly don't know how the game works yet. So let's just go with that then. That seems a nice spread. Okay, points available too. Points placed in a core skill melee will increase specialized skills up to rank 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills. Okie dokie. So. Right, so handgun skill decreases weapon sway while firing one-handed firearms also increases critical hit chance. Persuade. Hmm. So if I was... Oh, those are the specialised skills. Right, sorry, I see. This is a core skill. And then we have the specialized skills. Right, well we'll go with Ray. Are monarchs in need of more game hunters? And I think we'll also Subtle go for Subtle and discreet. Exactly what I need. Hey, okay, aptitude. Right. No discernible aptitude. Determination plus one. Uh, beverage. Bureaucrat. <laughs> Cashier. Sway plus one might be nice. Oh, construction. Elevator operator. Battery worker. Farmer. Food additive tester. Janitor. Tossball team mascots. Medical technician. Uh -huh. Safety inspector. Scientist. Huh. Right, so medical technician, prior to leaving Earth, you earn the trust of the medical community's most esteemed junior surgeons, who entrusted you with stuffing cotton balls into pill bottles. Experience on the job made you realise that diagnosing the illnesses doesn't take a formal education when a surgeon terminal or a little imagination will do the trick. Or scientist assistant. Um, you've cleaned out enough test tubes to develop a keen thing for what goes into them and why. Maybe you didn't get in this business to mop up the leapings of failed experiments. That's just part of the job. Even if you can't see what happens in the lab, you can at least learn from the mistakes and enjoy some colourful nightmares. Um, medical technician junior grade. Not many of you left. Interesting, why aren't there many left? Uh, male, I think, for me. So, let's have a look at the heads.
That one, I feel. Skin tone. Little too white. That'll do. Eye color. Why are the pupils square? I like that. Brow forward. I see. Okay. Um. Ah, it does change a bit. Quite, quite cool. My horizontal, vertical, draw. All of those, I think. I'm happy with. So hair. <laughs> Might be appropriate after a load of time in cryo sleep. Go with that hair color. Interesting. That'll do. Eyebrow style, I'm fine with facial hair. Kind of like that one. Okay, facial hair colour. Features. Makeup. Oh, we got some options. Hmm. Dirt. Scars. And age. Ooh. Okay, we'll leave those as they are. What's your name? Well, that one at least is easy. Silma. Right. Medical technician, junior grade. Above average, basically. Um, some aptitude with ranged weapons and stealth. So sneak attack, attacker is unaware. Hack, ability to sell goods to vending machines. Oh, that's nice. Uh, lot pick. Cool. Medical. Not there yet, but that's also helped the other scientific stuff, which is nice. Okay. Here we go. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. So it's taken just one pot, presumably me. Please power down your engines. Have prepared to be 
Not likely, bootlickers. Ooh. Initiate skip jump. Ooh. Terra 2 orbiting laboratory Halcyon system. Very ship is damaged. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> the ship is badly damaged. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This uh -huh. means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but <laughs> it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! What? Okay, that's why he was putting me back in there. Remember the hope. By lost brothers and sisters. 60th anniversary of the hope's disappearance. Wow. So they covered it all up. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. <laughs> I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all the colonists are counting on you. Okay. Ooh, re-entry. Nice. Uh, that was an impact. Okay. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him <laughs> to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh dear oh, well, God. No sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. Can I do a screenshot? Um, controls. Gameplay. UI. Mouse and keyboard, edit key bindings. Is there one for screenshots? There is not. Okay.
That's not a problem. We will just... I mean, this is incredibly cool. Right, moment of truth as well. Because... Ooh. Yeah, that, that made a mess. Um, doesn't look like there's anything we can pick up from here. So yeah, moment of truth in that we will now see if this will stream okay on my machine. Okay. Nice, we can jump. So this will be the tutorial. Um, oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Use left control to go under obstacles and to sneak. Can I get close to you? I just wanted to get a good shot. That is truly impressive. Right. So, left shift will allow me to sprint what the what's all this while sneaking use tall grass rocks or other cover to hide from enemies use it to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to initiate combat we have found a marauder fuck So it's obviously about to give us a sneaking tutorial, which means we should really not be standing around. But presumably the I key. So I have no weapons. Armor management. Hibernation suits. Consumables. So we have some Adreno. Uh, it's obviously set up for us to be able to use. Ooh. That could be a good thing. Heals 25% health over two seconds. Cool. Okay. Um, modifications. General. Quests. Journal. Stranger in a strange land. So for nice needs your help to sort of set things right in Halcyon, but you will need transportation first. We have nothing completed or botched. Find Hawthorne's ship. The smuggler took your meeting location a bit too literally. Guess that means the ship is now is yours now as if you can find it. Codex. Ah. So basics, basic movement, crouching, jumping, sprinting. Consumables. Right. Oh, increase our medical skill to get more drugs. So medical was a good choice. Weapons and armor. Skills and reputation. Doesn't look like it's sneaking crouch. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, timid canid. But they... Right. Tall grass. Right, stream seems to be acceptable. That looks good on my other machine. Ah, okay, the awareness meters over enemies' heads tell you if they're unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerting. Okay, wait a sec. Journal. Sneak in. Cover. Is there a description of what the awareness meetings? No, there isn't. The unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Okay. I see if that fills up, I imagine. So I imagine that was suspicious. Okay, cool. We got past them. Huh. I don't think there's an easy way down. Maybe here? Okay. Sprat. It's not showing as an enemy. Oh. Oh, what's this? You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. What the? What just happened? Designed to force me to hurt myself. Okay. Spacer's choice. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. <sighs> uh, medical five sits still. I patch you up. What happened to you? Spacer's what? What happened we were to out you? On patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just what? barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. What were you doing out here? What's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, oh. unemployed lunatics. With guns. Some hullhead grounded their spacecraft out in the open. 
That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Huh. I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? <laughs> Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. I'm off. Okay. Right, can I patch it's you up? It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Now I'd no longer have the option to patch him up. Right. Is there anything else in all of this that I can take? Okay, that's aim. shoot the sprat. I doubt I can get back and take on those cadence. Ooh. Tactical time dilations. Interesting. Um, due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Really? Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. If you have a limited time in this mode, standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Q is TDD. Right. Marauder. And there's another one. Right. Let's get ready to press. Make you pay. Might need a full round. Here he comes. Double click the jump button to dodge left or right or backwards. Nice. We did that all right. So the marauders did indeed come. Oh, we're looking good. So, zero G brew. Oh, I have a new item in my inventory. <coughs> inventory. Uh huh. General, mag pick. Tool used to pick up. Oh. Stealing is not the answer. Stealing is the question. The answer is yes. Unauthorized use of this item by any person without a security rating of A5 is a Class C felony. Which 
interesting. We'll have some of the zero G view. Pick up tarmac and cheese. I bet you if I'd shot them, I would have taken the guy out more easily, but also have lost the, the ability to uh, get this stuff. The hacking and lockpick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Map picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you'll see how many map picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. So I'm going to need two mag picks. Well, there we go. Also, right, let's okay. Cool. We have a map now. Right, so, we certainly, let's just see, can we, no, we can't pick any of that. Pick two seconds. And keep the key down. Telescoping staff. Right, you are, so, weapons management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by dragging them up to the slots at the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, blah, blah, blah. Take care of your TNL weapons and I'll take care of you. Condition. So that one's okay. Huh. Right. So, presumably, we would have to... found a new weapon. The weapon switch button allows you to rotate. Ah. Okay, cool. So, um, other things we've got. Consumables. So, alcohol. Ah. Tarmac and cheese. Mm-hmm. We got some food that seems to regenerate. Plus 200% lasts for two minutes. So it's only a little while food. So food is not something like in ESO where you take it for 30 minutes or more. Uh, oh, that increases your base health. So these things are the kind of thing to use just before a fight, I would say. Rather than trying to use them all the time. Well, that makes sense. All right, there's nothing else. Oh, what's this? Fast ration pill? What does that do? Fast ration pills. Ah, that's health regeneration. So I'm kind of guessing before a fight, particularly a melee fight, you might want to have some health regeneration and boost your health levels. Right, let's be a little bit stealthy. You've got two of them. Cool, we've got some long grass. That one's going down there, so they've split up nicely. Right. Definitely don't want to just, you know... So we've got a guy there, got one there, only seen two so far. They're not coming up here. Okay, we want them to be a bit far apart before we start shooting. 
and we want one of them at least to be stood still. The problem there is if he drops down he'll drop behind the rock so I can't get the second shot in quick. There are three. Right, that went well. That went well indeed. Our health has dropped a little bit, but it's regenerating, hence the health regeneration being a thing. No one else seems to be coming to investigate. Let's search these bodies. Yep, we'll take that. Actually, could I have searched the bodies before? I'm not entirely sure what all of that is. Oh, we got them nicely lined up. Right, so I need to head back up. Because I think maybe I left some kit on these bodies here. Can't quite remember. Nope, I didn't. Those guys didn't have anything. Right, you are. So, interesting thing. Um, the chance to patch the guy up... I've I think I did make a mistake there. Should have patched the guy up straight away. Didn't give me the option again. Right, I'm not going to get up there. Ooh, look at that. That is very pretty. Okay, let us continue. Right, so items wise, um, what's this then? Rebuilt mining gear, stealth skills plus five, tech skills plus five. Okay, so we need to be careful, well, from a purely role-playing perspective, we need to be careful about wearing Marauder armor when we're around more civilized folks. But right now, stealth skills plus five is probably more useful to me than tech skills plus five. Looks like we got some more of these pistols. So that's cool. Uh, we don't, however, have more ammunition. So we do need to be careful. Okay. Well, there's the ship, but we know marauders are in the area and they would have been interested in the ship. What's this? They must be with... Th okay. Right, we want to get down and talk to those two because they are not enemies. So, before we do this, let's do our first save game. Just in case it turns out that these two are not hiding from the Marauders. They are in fact 
Oh, wait a sec. Um, let's just switch our gear. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah let, let's just switch our gear. Um, the lieutenant and the private. Lieutenant first. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call uh -huh. on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. So I heard. Uh, so I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? Uh, bleeding and delirious, but still oh, kicking. Oh, that's a relief. You don't want to know how much paperwork's involved in paying off a gravesite fee. <laughs> we'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Uh-huh. Right. Let's see. So we have an option under Persuade. Your spacious choice guards back down from a challenge? Or lie? I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. What's the consequences going to be? You think? Most marauders can't even talk. But criminals do attract other criminals by their own nature. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. <laughs> Here we go. Cool. So bits are our cash. What's this? Canid meat. Huh. <laughs> okay, how are we doing in terms of up twenty out of a hundred? So we're good with regards to that. See, the reason I've lied there is I want to take this ship and the good lieutenant there isn't going to let me just take the ship. So I was wondering if that might be a way to get her away. Right, before we go do anything else, let's just go and see what's over here. I get in the ship, I presume I just fly away. That's lovely. Okay. So I'm going to guess as well that this this game will let me go a lot of places I perhaps shouldn't go. So I don't want to go too far from the ship. But neither do I want to miss the opportunity to find some more stuff as early as possible in the game. Okay. Can we get these guys? There's a marauder there. No, there's three triangles showing now. They're all unaware of me at the moment. I 
Ah, oh, there he is. There's the third one. I can just see him behind the one that's closest to me. Right. Got them! Can I get my gun, please? Whoa! Mature work of them. Oh. Ah. They'd been hunting something. And there's bits of that guy everywhere. How oh, interesting. Okay, that's given us a bit more cash and such like. Ooh. Yes, please. Weapon parts. That's a heck of a view. Look at that. There's Edgewater. Right. <clears throat> now. Let's see. <clears throat> that, is, that is really cool. Uh -huh. The stealth. Primal Behemoth. I'm going to guess you're going to be a bit harder than what I've been dealing with so far. I'm also going to guess that I perhaps do not want to try taking you on. But look at all of this. Old wreckage discovered, plus 50 XP. And there's nothing there telling me whether this guy is way out of my class or what. So for the moment, we are going to continue be stealthy. Taking one on is one thing. Now our good captain there, our good lieutenant is over there. Maybe one way of getting the ship into our hands is to basically shoot the beast and then kite it over to the lieutenant and then let them all help me deal with it. Ah, there's another one over there. So if I, I'm a primal hunter, we've got at least three. Sight of old wreckage. Okay. This could be a really bad idea. Plan is simple. Shoot the closest, which will set it off. A 
attempt to kite it. See, I want to do it from here so that I'm on a direct line. Alright, save the game. There we go. Right. Right. Problem is Right, multiples. We've got a run. Hi, Lieutenant. I brought friends. You still around? Cool. Uh huh. But they've wandered back. So I've survived my potentially incredibly foolish thing. And they're not going to, the private's not going to try and help me. So that was an incredibly foolish thing to try and do. So we will continue the game from there. So we figured out that doesn't work. Okay, we are going to need bigger guns. Pistol isn't going to cut that. Right, so we can't do the old wreckage. But just as those were marauders there, there looks to be potentially some kind of structure or something up here. Yells. That must be where the marauders were. Oh, a primal. Okay, let's try and get closer. Yeah, there's primal ravager. Right, so let me just journal codex combat. Ooh, it affects with tactical time dilation. Right. So, for example, I am hidden. Tactical time dilation. Blind. Burrows into the ground between attacks. Suffers from constant constipation. Can I find the other one? Cool, so I can scan stuff. Figure out what I'm facing. 
and what I might therefore have to do to beat it. And can we find the hunter again? Right, aid these brothers soon after birth. Rose Rock's enemy can use high amounts of damage if ignored. Right, we need to get away from that thing. I don't want anything coming after me just yet. Right. Okay, it would seem appropriate at this point. Um, what's got a low sell value? Most things have. Cool. I can inspect stuff. Right. I use, have to use. Thank you. Ah, our punch may have played off, paid off. Looks like someone was there. Yeah, someone was here and had some stuff. Okay. Checking around is doing us some good. A resident. I'll take the shovel. So they're out here digging, searching for stuff maybe. And the primals came upon them and ripped them to pieces. Interesting. Oh, a hatchet. Cool. And some light ammo. That's good. Right, so let's check our weapons. So... That's 100 DPS, 20 damage. They're all the same gun. That is 51 damage with a special effect of not down. So that's very nice. <laughs> oh, hi, Neo. Yeah, I'm changing things up a bit. I posted on Twitter about it earlier on um, and in the Facebook group. But um, at the moment, what I'm doing is I'm streaming Outer's Worlds on Mixer until about 3 and then I'm going to take a short break and switch over to Borderlands 3 on Twitch. I'm not sure how well this will work. <coughs> I might end up just going to Twitch but it means I can take up Twitch Affiliate. So and yeah Outer Worlds which so far is gorgeous. Right. Light duty axing needs. 44 DPS, 42 DPS, 54. Okay. So. Right, so where does that put us on the map? That puts us there. So we know that there is also something off this way. You need to play more of this yourself. Oh, I'm enjoying it so far. This is my first time playing. Um, but it seems to be really cool. Um, literally, we've just kind of secured the ship. And I am now wandering around the area before I advance the plot. But I'm fairly certain this game will let me go and do silly things like wander into areas I've no hope of surviving. Ooh, ship. 
That's cool. Oh. Right. Marauder Hooligan. So their range. Marauder Lookout. Too far away. Okay. So we've got three. It could be more than that. So there. Okay. Right, wait a sec. We've got the lookout and we've got a goon. Let's just look at their patrol pan. I reckon I can... Right, save the game. See if we can't get one of these from stealth. With Malie. Oh, special unit snipes with rifles from a distance. Got to be particularly careful of that one then. I reckon can't. There's the goon. There's four. Four of them. Now, can we take one from ambush from stealth? We can. Right, cool. Um, level up, I've been promoted. Enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Level up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling, you'll be upper management material in no time. So, You've unlocked perks. Go to the character page in your ledger then select the perks tab to buy your first perk. Party Clio Management Training. Every time you live up you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending the skill points on a core skill improves all of the specialised skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50 you can add points directly to the specialised skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows but special skills, special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Uh, armor and consumables can temporarily raise. Cool. So I have points available. Okay. Right. OK. 
Okay. Let's keep it simple to begin with. Right, that'll do. You'll be unable to do, do okay. Time dilation. Right. So we've got even more to do in time dilation. Alright, we've got this guy. They're heading off, so let's... Yeah, but you don't have a nice gun, do you? Is there more long grass here? Right, stealth approach. Oh, tap. Perk points available. We hadn't finished leveling up. So, welcome to perk selection. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting the floor. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available. Tier 1 perks. Oh. What's that all about? Alright, oh, yeah, that's just codex. So we have our skills, we have our perks. So toughness, 50% base health, that's good. Slow the world, 25%. Now that is nice. Lone Wolf, 25% damage when alone in a party. Mm, what I see this game, you do get parties. Strider, 25% uh, walk speed, 20% sprint speed, high maintenance, full, precision, right, resilience, a few bits more, pack mule, Quicken the dead. Recharge is much faster. Traveller, unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. Sent from companions and... Okay. Tempting. Lots of tempting things. Tactical time dilation meter max, or it recharges 50% faster. Recharge faster. Cool. Now. Oh, cool. He's going to investigate his buddy. No! Who did this? Yes, my friend. Come closer. Hmm. 
right. Push back to the gun. Look out has not moved. Hmm. No loots. Okay, cool. Let's advance on the rest of them. So we know there's a lookout, we know there's a goon, we know the lookout has a long rifle, which I want. Uh, and I certainly don't want to be being shot by the lookout when I'm too far away to do anything about it. We certainly can't start trying to search this place until we've dealt with these. So we need to get into this long grass over here. There's the goon. So we've discovered the Marauder Encampment. Okay. So good. Tamed Canid. Right, so there is a third enemy. Okay, I can't see as we're going to be able to pull off the same trick as we did before with these. Maybe we can get some a bit closer. Can't see any convenient tall grass that's close enough. This isn't Assassin's Creed where we can summon them over. Got a loot box. So that guy's melee. Okay. So, first things first. We're going to try this. We're going to save the game. We are going to go into our consumables. that. Now I don't know if that will do what I think it does, but it does. Both effects are up. Cool. You I never expected. But it goes quiet. OK. 
Can it tell? Can it meet? Okay, folks. We may have got away with that. a pistol is showing up. You know, for a bunch of people who are supposed to be horrible cannibals and such like, this lot don't seem to be that inhuman, shall we say. <clears throat> nice. Thank you for the sparks, Neo. There's another body around here somewhere. I've only got three, that needs four. Well, that's slightly annoying. Right, that's the lookout. Where did I drop the vandal? Ah, here. Okay. Is there anything else? Right, I'm just going to have to uh, take a quick bio break. So I will be back in just a moment and we will carry on.
Cool. Let's see. Um. Right. Really want another mag pick. But I don't think there's going to be any more around here. Oh, what's this? Cheers. Okay. Oh, what was that? I picked that up too quickly. Gourmet Saltuna fillets. Armor parts, weapon parts, mag pigs. Corporation Service Award. Okay. Oh, it's cash. I think we need to be getting over to my ship. We need to complete whatever's going to go on there. So we've checked out this bit. We've not checked out what's behind there, though. See, we dealt with some marauders near the ship, and I think there's something else. Now we don't seem to have a stamina meter. Yeah, so the marauders were this way. Well, looks like we're dealing with you. So where are we? Hmm. Oh, wait a sec, we got another one. Alright, you're done. Headshots. Ooh. Sentry Saber, what's that? Okay. 73. I think we will go with a sabre. Now I wanted to find out what this was, but I think it's going to end up being too much to try and do. Yeah, I've got half an hour. I really want another mag pick.
And I only seem to find them at locations. People don't carry them in their pockets. Right, this we cleared out. Yeah. There's something there. If I had a mag pick, I could get that box open and then I could go and get my ship. going the right way. Yep, yeah. right, time to crouch. Corporate troopers. Hmm. Huh. So whatever those are. They're around the town. They're not marauder outposts. Oh god. Graveyard. Okay, I'm kind of thinking that we've done enough of this. Let's go deal with the ship. No doubt what we were supposed to do straight away, but I've been playing. Rotters, deserters, illegal landing. What is this colony coming to? No idea, mate. No idea. Seems terrible. Did I hear right? You're going in the path of the Twitch affiliate. Yes. Yes, I am. Um, I may continue streaming separately to Mixer to see if I can build something here as well. Uh, and I certainly will be continuing to do stuff, let's plays and that for YouTube. I'm putting them up on Facebook as well, I think. But yeah, that's the plan. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. I see. Welcome aboard Apex Transport. The unreliable. Marauder, I will take that. Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Okay. Unauthorized I'm... access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. <laughs> Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I don't appreciate being taught that way. Um, Neo, Mixer at the moment, right now, only have a partnership, uh, which has a different set of requirements from Twitch, but is probably potentially as hard to get. Um, but they are bringing out a monetization program equivalent to affiliate, which they say they're going to roll out to everyone. My advice would be, if you're interested in Mixer, um, as you are already obviously doing, watch some Mixer streams, 
um, get onto some mixer discords I can ex suggest a couple if you wish um, I'm happy to drop you the details um, and wait and you know maybe try a few one-off for the occasional stream on mixer but wait to see what mixer do with their monetization there are definitely things i like about mixer more than i like about twitch um but it is a simple fact that twitch has vastly more numbers which can itself be a good and a bad point at times so i would certainly look at Mixer and they're going to be bringing something out that should make monetizing a stream available to a lot more streamers on Mixer. Um, and their partner requirements, for example, don't have any concurrent viewership. Um, they require you to have a certain number of followers and things like that. So definitely give it a look and I'm happy to talk about it in more detail with you. I mean, just hit me up on Discord. Uh, I'm not here to misappropriate anything. An elevated heart rate. Indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarded parties in Oops. five, four, three, two, one. Okay. You realize we're on the ground, you right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. <laughs> I have been programmed to express disappointment. Oh, is this Hawthorne this ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. Hawthorne said, I'm sorry. Uh, Hawthorne said, I'm sorry. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't well, fly. Well Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning <laughs> remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Engineering fiber. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting Astutely in the garage. Observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. <laughs> Indeed. Half capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new Captain's Identity Cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and Captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Uh, Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I you. like it. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> Yay. That's actually quite fun. Right. Quests. You need to find a power regulator. Right. So, that's going to require two, and I've already got right. I'm searching for mag picks because oh, this ship is great, though. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification. The Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Nice. Sort of shotgun. We'll have that up there. 
Why is that in red? Magazine size 18 energy. Oh, because. Hmm. So. Handgun. Stagger. Ah, maybe it's because of the level. No, I'm level two. That's a level three gun. That seems okay. That needs repair. That needs repair. Well, I don't need to repair that. I can just use some of these spares I've got. But if I want to be able to use that, I am going to need... Use the workbench. The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade and modify your weapons and armor, keeping your combat ready in tip-top shape at all times. Okay. Tinker. Repair. Oh. So that would require more weapons parts. Okay. So right now we need to take that shotgun off the list. That's 22 times 3. That's 20. Right. Come on, folks. We need more mag picks, please. Am I on the time? Oh, wow. This ship is certainly something. Want to something. be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Okay. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Requires power regulator. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. <laughs> I see. Oh, I can see why people equate this to Firefly. I really can. Okay. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. I see. We can have crew. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Right. See if the lieutenant is outside. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Um. High five, you got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. <laughs> I don't have a job. I'll wave your fee since you helped us with those marauders. If you're looking for work, talk to the constable down in Edgewater. She's got a bounty on marauders. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Cool. Right.
Yeah, just thinking it through, Neo. If you're thinking of either starting moving fully over to Mixer or try it for part of the time, let's have a proper chat through Discord or whatever. Because um, there's more than I can cover here. But I would certainly say it's worthwhile considering. Come on, mag picks. I now need three mag picks to pick the stuff that I. I want to. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Hey, Silas. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Just Ain't passing safe through. Out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Um. Uh, I want. Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Hmm. I'm looking to make a little money while Got I'm here. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. I see. You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. You're making people pay for their own graves? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under. Free of charge. <laughs> All right, I'll collect Poor your workers fees. still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why is he a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy. I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. And thank you for to us. Heard the news about the hope. The colony <laughs> ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again. <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? Let's change the subject. Something I can do for you? Who do I talk to about a power? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Okay. I could really go for some salt too. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. Huh. So that would definitely be stealing. Weapon parts. Armor parts. Bypass shot. Bit cartridge. Okay, we're not going to steal anything right now. Yeah, you see the requirements when I require your account to be at least two months old, you must have at least 2,000 followers. Mm. Yeah, it's certainly going to be rougher on Mixer than it is on Twitch, 2,000 followers. Um, yeah, it's but it's good to be walk into that sort of thing with your eyes open, as it were. Examine. Do you want to enjoy years in luxury and comfort? Do you dream of walking beneath the voltage arches of Byzantium? The Jewel of Halcyon. So, Byzantium, eh? Okay. Bit cartridges. 12 days, 25 hours per month. That's not bad at all. No, it's not. It is to... They are quite clear that that gets you allows you to apply they still like twitch do um they will look at you and decide if they feel that you are someone they want to make a partner um i mean i think a no viewer average yeah that is a big thing that is definitely something that got my attention okay messages Right, we're going to... Oh. Time's getting on. Okay, let's save the game. Because... Yeah, I mean, for myself, I want to maintain a presence on Mixer because I don't want to, but I have to acknowledge that what I'm doing might go easier if I was just to focus on Twitch. Um, so there's definitely something to be said for picking one or the other um, but if you do want to do some more digging um, I could drop you a note with the names of a couple of discords that might be good to jump into and talk a bit more about Mixer uh, they, they're basically just groups of streamers helping each other so mix it forward and I Mixer um, that might help you a bit. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this stream here. And I have enjoyed the other well, the outer worlds. Um, and I'm going to take a break till about quarter past three when I will be back on Twitch uh, with Borderlands 3. So let's uh, see how the rest of the day goes. But thank you very much for watching. Um, and I will be back on my Twitch channel, which is Silmar UK, in just under 20 minutes. So thank you very much. And <laughs> no worries, Neo. Um, but I will hopefully see you again a little bit later. I'm just going to grab myself a drink and grab a quick bite to eat. And thank you for the sparks. Right. See you soon.